Hello, teeth whitening, that's why you're here. Today I will share with you my method to achieve glowing mouth bones, shining tongue curtains, radiant food destroyers. Fun fact, that is also the name of my indie pop punk rock folk band. Which one? It doesn't matter, I'm, I'm lying. Doesn't really matter. I remember that every Christmas my grandfather would take out his teeth to amuse everyone, but it never did, it was traumatizing because he didn't have false teeth. They were real. He would rip them out. Lots of blood. Anyway, ripping teeth out, um, as a child, it was relatively acceptable because especially if the tooth was wobbly or loose, then the tooth fairy would come and pay you money for body parts, which is either encouraging prostitution or the illegal organ trade, which, and I don't even understand why instruments should be made illegal. <laughs> Let's get on with my method. So first of all, you're going to need to have teeth. Um, sorry if you don't. You, you can't. You, I don't know why you would have clicked on this video if, you, do, if, you, if you, you need teeth for this. If you're unsure whether or not you have teeth, then either smile into a mirror, like a big grin, or eat a toffee. If you can't do either of them, then you are without teeth. Once you have established that you have lip understudies, you're going to want to grab your first item, which is a tube of toothpaste, and just uh, squeeze the entire content into your mouth. Keep doing, this. Keep doing that until your tongue starts to burn or your uvula starts dancing from the pain and then spit it out onto the nearest member of the bush family. Or just a bush. Alright, so if you're still watching and you still think you're going to get actual advice from this video, you've got to do two things, one of which is to like this video and then subscribe if you aren't already, as well as buying this just medicine that stops you from dying. Then you're going to want to grab your nearest whiteout or twink or tipex or liquid paper or whatever it is you call it in your country and just gradually apply it to your top row of teeth. Don't forget to do the backs as well because teeth are slightly transparent and it will show through. Now before we move on to the next part, I need to stress how important it is. You know, this is 100% science. Alright, so what you need to do is you need to grab any food substance from your kitchen that is white. That can be cream cheese, milk, mayonnaise, any of that. So when you have all your white foods in a group, very carefully slam them onto your face, trying to aim for the mouth, but really the entire face is an area you can slam them onto. Once you're done with that, grab all the foods together, throw them into a paddle pool and wallow in the pool until you feel whiter. I'm not talking about ethnically or privilege, but about teeth. Your teeth will now be sparkling white. Anyway, so disclaimers usually go at the beginning of a video, but this one is at the end. This may not produce the results seen in the thumbnail. This method is untested, and well, it was before today. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think it did very well. I really regret putting that liquid paper on my teeth, it's not coming off. Also, please don't try this at home thinking it's gonna work. I mean, by all means, if you want to look like this, go and go for it with your weird aesthetic choices, but otherwise, stay away from this, please. You will be better off making your teeth whiter by making them listen to Mumford & Sons. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, and subscribe if you aren't already. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Bye. <laughs> I look horrific. I look like Ross in the episode where he whitened his teeth. I'm like... Hello, this video is about opening an egg without breaking anything. It's super easy. Here.